Hello everyone, this is Christine. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all healthy and safe in your homes during this coronavirus time. Uh, here where I'm living, we are I've got all of our restaurants shut down. You can order takeaway or takeout, but you can't sit in the restaurants. And they're obviously encouraging everyone to practice social distancing. But for those of us who are trying to learn an instrument, hopefully we can take advantage of this. Hopefully you're all safe and healthy, and if so, that you're getting some extra practice in with your piano. Today I'm going to be doing the standard assessment of sight reading, which I did the other day for you guys in my last video uh, when I started talking about Piano Marvel. Now this is a test that they have in Piano Marvel, and one of the things that I was informed by the creators and owners of Piano Marvel is that if you take the test every day for, I think he said 45 days, but for a while, you'll see improvement in your sight reading, which is exciting. So I'm using the app on my iPad, but you can also access it on a browser. If you're interested in downloading it, you can save money on it, and I get a little bit of a commission. If you click on the link in the description below, which will take you to the website where you can sign up. But let's take a look at where I am on this sight reading test. I have taken the test now six times, not quite six days in a row, but close. And you can see the day I took it with you guys on my last video, I'll link that up above, I got a 257, which if you look on the left here is early beginner, it's below early beginner student. <laughs> and it was my first time trying it, I didn't really know exactly how it worked, but it was, it was fun to do and I was pretty terrible. The next day I jumped pretty far up to late beginner student, and the third day I got a 396, which is still in late beginner student. You don't hit intermediate student till 473 at least in sight reading, and I'm not close. And you can see from there I went down the next couple of times, and then I went up five points to a modest 358 the last time I took it, which I think was two days ago. So what I'm hoping to do is continue to take this pretty much every day for the next month or two and see how much I improve and give you guys periodic updates on how it's going. So you go in and you start the test. I've been starting an intermediate because I'm not really quite a beginner and I can play the intermediate songs. But you see you have about 20 seconds until it starts, so that's where you go ahead and organize yourself. Sometimes they give you finger numbers. This one doesn't have it. This is all right hand, so that makes it a lot easier. Goes all the way down to C and up to A, so I'll need to stretch a little bit. You only have to get, I think it's, what is it, stay above 80%. So you get three strikes in the upper left corner of my screen here, you can see the three empty boxes. Those will fill in with strikes. So you can miss three before your time is up. And I believe you just play 15 songs. So if you play all 15, then you're good and it ends. Uh, and I think it judges the next song that it's gonna give you based on how well you did on the previous song. So I got a 91%, so that's fairly good, so the next song will be a little bit harder. If I pass and get, get let's say, an 80, 85%, I think the next song is probably more similar in its difficulty. And if you get below 80%, then they bring the, the difficulty level down on the next song. So it's got this intelligent, predictive, predictive uh, quality to it that will try to give you appropriate songs to predict where you are in your level. If you're gonna try this yourself, you will notice that you can click continue at the top or next at the bottom. As soon as you click that, the 20 second counter starts and you just have the 20 seconds to figure out you know, where you want to arrange your hands and all of that. You can scroll through the song and look through it. I'm telling you all this before I click, click next so I don't waste my 20 seconds. If it's an easy song and you want to just go ahead and play, there is also a, a play button at the bottom once you're in the song and it will skip the counter and start the song for you if you're ready to play it. All right. Let's go to the next song. Okay, both hands. Four is on G, three is on E. And you can kind of practice. No, this is like jingle bells. <laughs> All right, let's see how we do. Uh, 
probably shouldn't try to sing along. to four. Still 93%. We'll take it. All right. Let's keep it going. B flat. Oh, yeah. B flat. C. Then A's. Then we have some chords. G. Okay. And go. <laughs> I almost never get 100% in the sight reading test. Russian melody. Oh, this has got to be flat. Okay, we're playing in the key of F with a B flat. Ooh, and the bottom notes are F, F to C. Oh, this is going to be trouble. I don't do this much. Hopefully it's mirrored because that's how I'm going to play it. to get it at the end there. Look how bad this is. Look how much red there is on the screen. It's okay. It's only strike one and my current score is already 378. So I'm still doing better than I did last time. Okay. Oh, they did this one last time to me. It was an F sharp, an A flat, a B flat, a D flat. And then there's a some weird crap at the bottom here, which ends with C. So I'm just guessing it's here. I don't have time to figure this out. That is not fair. I was robbed on that one. I don't know about you guys, but there are songs that I play in this sight reading where you can only play them one time and they'll never show up again in the sight reading test because apparently there's thousands of songs in the test. And I play them and I think, I could have played this really well if I just had more time to look at it. And I know that's the point of sight reading is you don't get a chance to spend any time on it. But I really, some of these I really want to get to play again because I would nailed this. I did well. The first two measures, man. All right, next song. Rainy day. See, it thinks I'm stupid now. So it has dumbed the song down. Again, we're gonna do this one more time but I do want to mention that if kind of like when you take a typing test you're not supposed to hit the backspace key otherwise it counts as another error I believe that if you hit like at the end there I tried to replay the try to get the right notes and I think those three counted towards my score which is unfortunate because if I miss a note I immediately try to play it correctly which you shouldn't do because it gives you extra errors on the screen so you have to try to remember that when you do this all right, I got a 374. 
which puts me in the same range. It gives you your graph again. I still went up. I still went up. So I got a little higher today. Okay, that didn't take me very long, so I'm gonna run through it one more time and see what happens. It's an F. It's all Fs and, okay, and then this. Simple stuff, 98%. Crap, what is that note? All right, so we're going up here. I think that's an E. I think this is mirrored though. terrible the bot okay I did not have the bottom note right at all the bottom note these were both treble clef I've never played like this before that is not the bass clef on the bottom that's another treble clef so I was supposed to be playing C that should have been so easy and now I know that th that exists in the sight reading that's that's why I think your sight reading gets better each time because unison study really this has a treble and a bass, but you're not playing the whole thing. Okay. So one is on D. It thinks I'm stupid again, so it's taken away my left hand pretty much. Except an A. A couple of A's and C's. Oh. Okay. I know this one, so I'm going to... Or I know two, I'm ready. Set. I'm doing terrible this time around. I blame you guys because you're watching me. I always feel like somebody's watching me and I have no privacy. Okay, that is a bass clef. Don't know what I'm playing here. One, All right. Two, set, go. Finally, I got one right. Okay, we'll give this a try. I don't know how it's going to go, but...
70. We're already done. I only got a 311. That puts me as a beginner, early beginner. Okay, it's not showing it on the chart. Maybe it feels bad for me and so it's not gonna put it on my chart. But 374. Okay, we're gonna keep going with this every day for the next month or so or longer. Actually, just for as long as I use Piano Marvel and we're gonna see how far we get. So I challenge you guys to jump on Piano Marvel and give this a try and let me know what your score is. Uh, go ahead and brag to me. <laughs> uh, and hopefully we'll all improve together. Thanks for joining me today and we will see you guys very soon. Bye.